split a piece of wood and I'm there. You just tuned into a mind for life. The first step in living your truth is to get in touch with your current truth, your current reality by listening. And it may seem like weird because you may say, well, I am living my current truth and I'm aware of it too. I mean, I go here, I do this, I, I like this person, I, 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 I'm in this. I'm in. But it's a little bit more to it than just that. To really get in touch with your current truth would mean that you're living a life every single day of joyful creative expansion. And if you're not living that, you're not in touch with your current reality. If you're not where you want to live, living where you want to live, if you're not in the relationship you really want to be in, if your health and your finances don't declare and demonstrate who you really are, you're not living your truth. But more than that, you're not aware of your current truth, your current reality. I have something I call the Roseman analogy. There's a guy who delivers roses. He delivers roses every day, eight hours a day. He gets up like everybody else, puts on his cologne, goes out, delivers roses. First couple hours, he smells his cologne. He loves it. He loves his cologne. The rest of the day, he really doesn't smell his cologne anymore. So at night, he gets with this girl, had a great day. Really? Yeah, I had a great day. She said, great, great. She says, you smell good too. He says, yeah, I know. You know, that cologne lasts all day. <laughs> but listen, it's not the cologne she's smelling. She tells him, no, it's not the cologne. You actually smell like roses. He wasn't aware of how he smelled until someone outside of himself made him aware of that. He was not aware of it, even though he smelled like it. Now, here's something I want to share with you. It's very, very important. All change and all growth require contrast. All change and all growth require contrast. You cannot change the self with the self. You cannot use yourself to change yourself. To live an experience and say, okay, I'm in touch with my current truth, therefore I can make changes and this and that. It thinks, you think that. It's that, it's that way. It's not that way. Self-help is great. Now, I do self-help obviously, right? But there's something about self-help that's totally missing the mark. To say go within and listen within and, and this and that, it won't change anything. It's circular. To begin to live your truth is to realize your current truth, your current life, the truth of it, the reality of it. And to do that means to listen outside of yourself. See, this is what's happened. It's happened with me. It's happened with all of us. It's actually a great power we have. Over time, we've manifested ourselves out here, out there. I've become this tree. I become that bird. I become that place. I become that relationship. You've become that man or woman or girl that you say you are. You've become that. And that's where you'll find yourself. What I want you to do is this. I want you to begin to use your inner ear, have an ear. And I want you to listen to what people are saying. I want you to listen to the world around you. And in that, you will begin to find yourself. In that, you will hear your laughter, your joy, your sorrow, your fears, your successes. These things have been crying out for your attention all along. And now you have a key, one of the keys is to listen outside of yourself. Remember, you cannot just change yourself by going within and that's it. Now I'm changed. That's, you cannot. It's, a, it's circular. This is the end of the first part of the series on how to live your truth. A mind for life. Peace out.